Welcome to the Guide in Your Pocket tutorial to setting up a fly line, where we'll cover all the connections from the fly reel to the fly. Connection number three, the cheat nail knot, connecting the main line or fly line to the leader. In the second part of this series, we learned how to tie the main line, the fly line, to the backing. Now we need to tie the leader material to the fly line. I use a knot similar to a nail knot, but I call a cheat nail knot because you can tie it without the need for anything like the nail to assist you. So first and foremost, we take the leader. These come in many different line weights. The most important thing is it's tapered. So it starts with a thick butt section here and tapers down to a thin section. Okay, It's this thick butt section which joins to the fly line and when it comes in its packet you'll see it's coiled. Very important to avoid getting it in a tight mess is to uncoil it in this way. Put the coil over your four fingers, find the thick butt section and then unwind it almost without exception you will find that leaders are presented in this way by the manufacturers so there we have the leader nice straight undone and not in a mess to connect it to the fly line we take a little bit more fly line off the reel to work with we are going to use on this knot the artery forceps this will assist in controlling the main line. So we have artery forceps and the main line in the pinch on the left hand. To this we will add the tail of the leader. End of the line, end of the leader, led alongside each other. Then we take the leader material and make, you guessed it, a loop behind. The difference with this is that you go through the loop and round the back, not three times, as in most uni knots, you go through it five times. So it's twice, three, four, five. Then let the leader material slip from your point finger where the loop is and then ease the line down into a neat knot. Okay. Once the knot looks like that, it's neatly stacked up, take it, pinch it in your finger and thumb and remove the artery forceps which you will now need as previously to clip to the leader just so that you can gain some purchase and put enough tension in the knot. There we go. All that remains is now to give the knot a tug, make sure it's firm, and clip off the ends. Clip this off close to the knot and angled in towards the line. More importantly, because of the thickness of the main line, the fly line, this must be cut towards the leader. cut at an angle. Then when you pull that straight you have a very neat connection from the main line to the leader. You can in addition add some fishing glue. This is available from most fishing shops and is a form of cyanoacrylate. 